you guys are staying happy, healthy, and safe at home. Um, I am excited to do this craft with you today. We're going to be making um, a flower out of paper. So gather whatever kind of paper you have. Um, you could use wrapping paper. You can use construction paper, scrapbook paper, anything you have. Um, so pick the colors you want. I'm going to make it a sunflower. So I started by cutting my yellow strips into one inch pieces, one inch strips. And then what you want to do is cut the strips in half. If they're about 10 inches or 11 and a half inches, which is a standard construction paper size. Then what you want to do to make your petals is fold them. And you could either use a glue stick or Elmer's glue or scrapbook tape. Um, the easiest way to do it is with a stapler and you're not going to see the staples, so it's okay. So if you go ahead and cut out about, I'd say 12 would be good. You could always make more. So six strips of paper cut in half. And then what you want to do since it's a sunflower, I'm making the middle black, but you can make whatever color you guys have or want. You could use a cup to make the middle. You can make a bigger center or a smaller. I used a Campbell's soup can and I just traced it. And cut it out. Then what you want to do is you want to lay down your cutout circle and then start using tape or glue and one by one tape your petals around. Don't worry about you could see the staples. Don't worry that you could see the tape because what's going to happen is can you see what I'm doing? I'm adding the petals around. And you could add as many or as few as you want. You can make multicolor. So then it's going to look something like this. I'm going to make a couple more so I have a full flower. And I'll add one here. Whatever you guys like. When you're done, you flip it over and put it down on your paper. Using a green stem or whatever color stem you'd like, I cut another one inch strip and I'm gonna measure it. I'm just gonna eyeball it where I'd like it to end and fold. So just don't tape or glue anything down yet. Make sure you have the stem the right size that you want and you could fool around with where it goes. Then I cut out a couple of rectangles and similar to making a snowflake or a heart, I folded it over and then just cut a half circle, uh, half oval kind of pointy to make leaves. And they're folded so they look like a real leaf. And then I'm gonna lay that down. Again, before I glue or staple or tape, I'm gonna just make sure I like where it is. So far, I really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. I'm gonna start with my stem. Little glue. Then I'm personally, you could do what you want, but I'm only gonna put glue on the end of my leaf so I could tuck it under and it looks kind of 3D. Do that on both sides. And then last, I'm gonna turn this over, put some glue Flip it over, make sure it's in a good spot, and push it down. Okay. 
and there's your flower. Now you could go on and you could use crayons or markers to add a background. Then I was thinking, what else might people have at home? Could we use some cotton balls for clouds? Let's see. I'll put some glue down. Put some clouds up in the corner. Could you put googly eyes on and make it a sunflower with a face? You can do anything you want. So this is our little craft for today. And then as a bonus, since I was cutting up all different kinds of color paper and things, it reminded me of something that I used to do as a kid. To make decorations, sometimes for birthdays or a countdown to a holiday, we would cut different color strips of paper and make a chain. So I was thinking for those of you who need to put more rainbows up, if you haven't already, if you cut different color papers, I used a two inch strip for this and you use a stapler with, with some help if you need it. And you go like this over and over and over, you will end up with a beautiful rainbow to hang on your front door or in your window. There goes our green. Our blue. And our purple to make the whole rainbow spectrum. And you could keep repeating them or you could double up, do two or three red and three orange and three yellow down and make it longer and longer. And you could hang it to help spread the 518 rainbow. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Save your toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls because I have a really cool craft for us to do with them next week. Bye.